My name's Holly. I am 44. I'm from Shelley originally in on the Shane Peninsula. And I have a husband and a five-year-old daughter. Going back to September 2022, um, and I thought, you know what, I haven't checked my breasts for a while. And I checked and I found a lump. And it was about seven weeks later, they, they then said that it was cancer. As much as you try and shield children from things, you know, they're clever. She, she realised that there's something wrong because literally overnight I went from being this on the go energetic to doing all these different things with her to not being able to move out of bed. Her whole life turned upside down and it's just, it was just really sad to, to see, you know, you just feel like a complete failure. So I wasn't really, I didn't care, I didn't care about what was going on with me. I just wanted to get back to some kind of normal, you know, but it makes you feel so guilty. You get to that point where you just think, why is it happening to me? You know, what have I done that's so bad for this to happen to me? And I don't think I have, I don't think I have done anything bad, you know, um, but you get to that point where you're like, don't, don't throw anything more onto me. I can't. You know, I've, I've had my um, share. Me just, not that I didn't want to give it to anyone else, but just like, give me a break for a minute. Let me get myself strong again. Sydney knew that there was something going on and I thought I'm going to have to tell her something because, you know, my hair was falling out and I was lying in bed and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to write my own book for her because she loves reading, she loves drawing and colours and stuff like that. Um, so I started writing it after my second chemotherapy. And it really helped me um, through that time because it gave me a focus because I thought, I need to get this finished so that I can explain it to Sydney, you know. So Sometimes mummy feels full of all that energy. She can run and jump. She can play hide and seek. She can play with me all day long. I love these place. Sometimes mummy feels tired. She feels so tired. She could sleep for a week. For a whole week. Her whole body feels tired. Her legs feel tired. Her arms feel tired. Even her toes feel tired. When Mummy is tired, she has a nap. Sometimes Mummy feels silly. She dances. Oh, wow, we get in everywhere. And wiggles her. Her bum. <laughs> she gallops around the garden pretending to be a unicorn. This always makes me giggle. Sometimes Mummy feels sad. She doesn't feel like dancing or singing. She doesn't want to pull funny faces. She just needs some time on her own to think about things. I don't like it when Mummy is sad. I know that it won't last long and that she will soon be back to her smiley self. She just needs some time. Sometimes Mummy feels scared. She doesn't say much when she feels like this. I know she feels scared because I can see that her eyes look bigger and her voice sounds different. Mummy was scared when we went to the bat cave at the zoo. I helped Mummy when she was scared by holding her hand. Sometimes Mummy feels busy. She feels like she has mm -hmm. so much to do. She has to clean the house, make dinner, and look after me. It's a very busy job. I like to help Mummy by brushing the kitchen floor and making my bed. Sometimes Mummy feels lazy. She doesn't feel like playing. She doesn't feel like going for a walk. I wish she could play with me, but I know that she will soon be back to her smiley self. I sit with Mummy on days like this. Sometimes Mummy feels all feels. All feels. She feels energetic. Tired. Silly. Sad. Scared. Busy. Lazy. But no matter what Mummy sometimes feels, 
I know she always loves me and I always love her. <laughs>